ordinary people worldwide are beginning to realize that greed is, does not actually lead to, to, to joy. BBC Sounds. What is your cautiously optimistic view of what the future is going to look like for us? To be sober and as truthful as you can, uh, it's not going to be paradise um, immediately. Uh, I think that the standard of living of the Western culture, so civilized countries, is going to have to take pause. I think we are going to live, have to live more economically than we do, uh, and we can do that. Uh, I don't. I believe that we will do it more happily, not less happily, um, and that um, the excesses that the capitalist system has brought us. Uh, have got to be curbed somehow. Uh, that doesn't mean to say that capitalism is dead, but and I'm not an, eco an economist, and I don't know. But I, I b believe that the, the nations of the world, the ordinary people worldwide, are beginning to realize that greed is, does not actually lead to, to, to joy. Do you think it all boils down to our economic system, prioritizing infinite growth? Indeed so. I mean, um, it is, our economic system has been based on the, on, on the profit principle, that you have to come out at the end of the year having made a profit. And, not, and the bigger profit you can make, the better it is. And in the, t in the short term, that works. But then it ends with disaster. So that you have to at last have the wisdom to realize that you can live sustainably, that it is possible that your economics could work on a rather different system from the one which is based on profit. What, what would you really want to convey from everything you continue to learn and experience when it comes to making a real tangible difference in this world to secure a better, brighter future for all? I don't know. I don't know. Um, except that I do know that if you, if you help the natural world, the world becomes a better place for everybody. Understanding the natural world and the way it works is crucially important. When we live, all of us, when we live close to nature, um, and there were very few human beings on this planet, but living close to nature, uh, the world was a, a working ecosystem in which um, everybody had a share. Um, and I think we can return that in that direction. We're not, I'm not suggesting we put the clock back. You can't put the clock back. Uh, but you can see what is important in the world, what is important that all human beings should have. And that means that those that have a great deal, perhaps have a little less, and those that have very little, can have a little more. Um, and in that process, the natural world will begin to flourish again as it once did. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.